thought you and Ronnie were off any jollies. Change of plan. Oh, that's a shame. Nothing wrong, is there? Do you mind awfully? Hmm? No, no, of course not. Who needs cheery conversation when he can have miserable silence? I'm not sure it's fair you taking your mood out on Bob, considering I'm the one that hasn't been completely honest. Come again. I took your car yesterday. It was just sat there doing nothing, and I've been talking to Debbie about this business idea. She needs money for the kids, you see, and... Get there quicker, Becca. I said her and Charity could lease it out for a few hours and split the profits. I didn't think you'd go for it unless I could prove there was good money to be made. So I spent last night at the police station because of you? In my defence, I didn't know they were going to bundle some random into the boot. I am massively sorry, Dad. And I've told Debbie and Charity they need to fix this. Presumably in a nicely worded email. Now, you might bend over backwards to top up the Dingle's benevolent fund, but I'm not going to. Oh, just caught you. No, you didn't. I'm just going to see your granddaughter. About yesterday's little fiasco, presumably, which is why I'm here. Only I think I can smooth this one over for you, for a small token of your gratitude, anyway. Is this a joke? I never joke where please are concerned, Poppet, which is why me and your Rebecca need to get down the station too sweet. I thought Robert might like a few memories in his new place. His little Superman cape. Dad said he'd wear it to bed and everything. And there's a photo of him wearing this and nothing else on the loo when he was dead, did he? Right before he threw up everywhere, apparently. There you see, lovely memories already. <laughs> oh, don't tell me she dragged you all the way into town to shop for some pulling clothes. She tried to rope me in the other day. Nope, no bags. Oh, that means nothing. The size of the dresses she came back with, they fit in your handbag, no sweat. <laughs> What have you got in there? A few old things of Robert's. Yeah, there's an action figure, invisible dog lead, some embarrassing baby photos. He's going to be thrilled, isn't he? <laughs> Actually, Robert was quite a cute baby. Speaking of babies, have you...? I'm keeping it. I realised I couldn't do anything else. Oh, I'm pleased. I mean, I know it's not any of my business, but I think you're doing right. And Ross came good with Moses in the end, didn't he? Even if they are neck and neck for emotional maturity. Yeah, I think I'm going to do this on my own, actually. Well, don't write him off too quickly. That's all I'm saying. Babies only get one dad, right? Look, I was wrong to say that Robert was fair game, all right? Besides, Aaron certainly isn't. Are you joking? Why would I want to ruin Aaron's life? Oh, give us a second. Maybe because Robert ruins people's lives all the time. Yours included, I thought. I'm lashing out at him and Aaron will make it all better. I'm not you, Ross. But this doesn't make any sense. You said you didn't give a stuff about him, which means either Robert's got something on you or you get... Or more... I'm a human being, perchance. Or that you're stupid enough to still care about him. 